boom star notes is where it's at baby 2013 b duplicate star notes are hot right now they're hot um hot on the secondary market people want to find these they want to sell them and uh, no big surprise you know this was bound to happen that the more and more that people are talking about these the more that people are going to go out there and actually ask for dollar bills from the bank um but i wanted to talk about how much these are selling for today in 2023 and why they're selling for so much money all right yes i've talked about this subject before um and we're gonna revisit a little bit in this video um because we're we're already in february of 2023 and the longer we distance ourselves from when these notes were produced the less likely that you'll find them as you go through those straps of dollar bills and this, ladies and gentlemen, represents a really great opportunity for you to make some extra money. If you're sitting there and you're trying to gain a, and grasp coin collecting or something like that, and, and maybe the information that you're receiving online is way too complex to understand, ladies and gentlemen, just go to the bank, get some dollar bills, and look for 2013B New York B New York district star notes. All right. And along the way, you're going to be looking for other things as well. You know, there's other star notes. There might be a low run star note in there. Fancy serial numbers, birthday serial numbers, printing errors. Man, we've seen quite a bit of printing errors on 2017 and 2017 a series notes those are the brand new ones that are out right now and people are like oh 2017 that's not new at all but the bep is still printing these because there hasn't been a changeover of the secretary and the treasurer so therefore all the new notes have 2017 a on them sorry to burst your guys's bubble but anyways let's talk about how much and how many of these are being sold and I'm going to tell you exactly what to look for, like normal. Uh, so here we have eBay completed sales. And I actually drilled down and went into coins and paper money, U.S. Federal Reserve, or you, you don't even have to do that. You just stay in coins and paper money. Type this in right here. This will do one of two things. This will show you the current inventory that it's on eBay right now. And then... If you sorted it, if, like if you scroll down to the left here, uh, sorry, it's cut off a little bit, but I'll say completed items and sold items. Just check mark sold items. It'll auto check completed items and it'll show you all of the notes that have sold over the course of the last 90 days. And they're all going to be highlighted in this green text on the, uh, the sales here. So in a 90 day period, going all the way back to early December or whatever it was, there have been 900 completed sold sales. That's pretty good. Uh, in 90 days, there has been what? Three notes on average that have sold per day. Uh, if not more, All right? I did get my math correct on that. Yeah, I did. All right. Yeah. 30 times. I don't know. Oh, okay. I got to get off this ride. But um, anyways, so just today, today's February 7th. Let me go ahead and um, refresh just, just in case there hasn't been another one sold. So uh, there's the date right above the sold listing title uh, for each one. There's been one, two, three, four, five, six, six duplicate stars that have sold today so far, February 7th. On February 6th, which was yesterday, we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And then it goes into February 5th. So just in the last 24 hour period, there have been 13 that have sold going all the way back till yesterday morning. All right. So maybe a little bit longer than a day. But when we take into account the last day, day and a half where 13 notes have sold, um, here's been kind of what, what these have been selling for. Now here's a lot of two that sold for 30 bucks. Um, 
And it, what you're going to want to do is obviously audit the serial numbers that be, these people are selling to ensure that they are indeed duplicate stars. Uh, here's another one right here that looks to be in pretty decent shape. 4251 with five bids. And they're all generally in traditional auction formats. Which means they're bidding, being bid up to a certain amount before they close. Uh, here's a buy it now listing for 45 Another one for 25 with two bids. Here's $41, five bids. $44 with 12 bids. Um, this one here actually has shipping included, so we'll call that $25.49 with 17 bids. $38.15 with six bids. Here's another one for $35.99 with a single bid. Here's a lot of five. If you didn't want to deal with them, uh, selling them singularly, you could sell all five in one lot understanding that you will receive a little bit of a bulk discount by selling five and not selling them indiv individually. $95.25. Mind you, $5 face value turned into $95. That's the opp opportunity chance here of a lifetime. Here's another one here. $31.50, 14 bids. $41 with five bids and $31.65 with 18 bids. All right, so that is um, kind of how much these things are selling for. And I know of a few paper money collectors slash searchers, which means they actually go to the bank and they, they buy up, you know, at any given time, five grand at once and they go through it. They actually find on average about six to a dozen per day of these particular star notes um they did make quite a few of them uh you're gonna look for the washington dc and the fort worth printings the washington dc printings are a lot older they go all the way back to 2013 um, because of attrition those particular notes don't survive out in circulation that long and that's why i'm saying the longer we distance ourselves from this anomaly of a dollar bill that that in hindsight should have never been printed the second time around these things are disappearing based off of the usage and wear and tear of these things these things are disappearing uh, along with the fact that people are pulling them out of circulation and um, people collect star notes just because because they look neat um but the washington dc prints were printed in 2013 the Fort Worth printings, which is the newest, most recent one, were all printed around to early 2017 before the switch over to uh, 2017 series dates. So I think someone had, had mentioned uh, it was either December of 2016 or January of 2017 in which the Fort Worth printings occurred. Now, when you're looking at the bills, and we're just going to use this one here that I had pulled up, um, and we're going to use this one as well because it's got the serial number on the um, the title here, and then we're going to copy that into mycurrencycollection.com to audit the um, the thing there. When you're looking at this, keep keep in mind that a lot of the notes that are being found that have the duplicate stars. All look like this. They're, they are pretty well worn. They have been through the, the, the just daily paces of life and commerce. All right. Uh, it's just the, the world we live in. We just, you know, like to change money and paper money, you know, um, many times a day. Uh, so on the Fort Worth printings, if you look here on the bottom right corner, right above the bottom right um, district number of the two right here, you look right above that. That's the plate number. The Fort Worth printings will have FW right above that. So it's going to be right next to it. The Washington, D.C. 2013B, and you want to make sure that it has a large giant B inside this black seal right here, will have no designated addition to the plate number. It'll just be a large giant B, for example, and a couple numbers after that. It won't have FW. It won't have DC. All right. It's just going to be blank. Um, so really, really quick, I mean, that does bring up a, a really good point that someone had pointed out, and I think a few others have as well. Does that make the Washington, D.C. 2013B star notes more valuable? They can be. They can be, especially in high grades. 
You just don't see them that often because these particular notes are, in a way, three and a half, four years older than the Fort Worth printings, which means there's less of them. Um, if you guys are familiar with the survivability rate of paper money, they really only last about 12 to 18 months in circulation. And this is considering that they can constantly change hands. It's like taking a, a fresh clean sheet of Xerox paper and you're handing it off to this person, this person, this person, this person. And God knows what they're doing with it. You know, if they have to fit it in their pocket, they have to fold it in quarters and maybe eights and put it in their pocket. If they need to jot down a note or something from their day, they, they use that sheet of paper. But you could imagine... If that one singular sheet of paper had changed hands about 15 to 20,000 times, that is, ladies and gentlemen, the attrition of paper money is that they go through so many hands, they're all treated differently when they get into each other's respective wallets. When they crutch it up, they put it in their pocket because some people like to do that. They fold it up, you know, they do paper origami, you know, maybe a kid gets it and, uh, you know, drops it in a puddle of uh, rainwater. You know, you just never know what's going to happen with these notes. So, sure, three, three and a half, four years uh, between the Washington, D.C. and the Fort Worth printings is a pretty substantial amount of time. So... If we were going to kind of kind of consider analytics or the numbers, I would say that you know there's probably less than half of the Washington DC star notes still surviving in comparison to the existing Fort Worth 2013B star notes. Um, so if we're talking 50% or less, that's pretty big. And that's a pretty good component uh, and um, kind of like a calculator as far as value. Um, I have personally seen Washington, D.C. printed duplicate stars sell for $80 to $100 uh, and not necessarily crisp, uncirculated condition. And uh, so why are these selling for so much? Sure, the BEP royally effed up, right? And they printed the same serial number run with the star from the Washington, D.C. run, all right? And um, the idea is people are trying to find both the D.C. and Fort Worth matching serial numbers, okay? And then the secondary market is supposed to be really big on them. You know, um, pairs have sold for between five and $10,000 on average. So that's kind of like the big chase, the, the big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is there are folks that are looking to assemble the same serial number pairs of the DC and Fort Worth, get them together, and oftentimes they'll grade it. And a company like PMG, which is one of the big currency grading um, um, outfits out there, they will actually designate it duplicate star, you know, uh, star note or whatever it is they put on there. Um, and, you know, they'll have two graded matching serial numbers of the 2013 Bs, get them together, sell them on the secondary market, whether it's heritage auctions, great collections, uh, eBay or whatever. Um, and they'll make a boatload of money. But in the meantime, the notes that have really no match to anything that's currently been found out there will generally command the money you see here. Not too shabby. Anytime you can get 20 to 50 times your face value is a home run. All right, so let's go ahead and check out how you can audit because people are selling these left and right. But not every 2013B star note is a duplicate. There's a certain serial number range where these fall into. And then there's a, you know, there's little pockets of other serial number ranges that have no du duplicate whatsoever. So um, use this website, mycurrencycollection.com. If you guys haven't bookmarked this or saved it under your favorites on your desktop, shame on you, especially if you're in a coin and currency hobby. You should always have this up because you just never know what you're going to have. Go to Star Note Lookup. Okay, and then it's a $1 bill. Uh, we're going to go to 2013, and then we're going to type in the serial number, but better yet... 
we're just gonna copy and paste this right here, but we also have to add the big letter B in front of it as well. And this is uh, this makes it easier. There are some listings where they don't have the uh, the serial number typed into the the listing. Look up your star notes, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna pop up for any duplicate star. If this doesn't pop up, you don't have one. Please se select the printing facility of your note to see your result. How to, de how to determine print facility contains FW, like I had mentioned, in Fort Worth, Texas. That's this one here. No FW printed in DC, okay? Um, so we're gonna go, I mean, obviously you're gonna pick Fort Worth. Um, maybe, maybe we're gonna pick Fort Worth. I'm clicking on it, man. All right. Um, anyways. What the heck is this? I don't want a line of credit. All right. Well, it's supposed to be a hyperlink. It'll take you to the actual run number. And it'll also give you... Um, geez. Incredible. Anyways, take my word for it. All right, this um, this is crazy. I wonder if something changed. Uh, production tables. Uh, so we can just go in here manually. Two thousand thirteen one dollar bills. Uh, so these here with the little um, warning, little triangle with exclamation point. These are the serial number runs with the um the duplicate stars so if you read here this b 1.1 okay it goes from serial number one all the way up to 3.2 million um and of course it, it has to denote a fort worth or um there you go so here's the actual run i, I believe this is the washington dcs so um Serial number 9.6 million and one all the way up to 9.7 million, which is a very low run. These notes actually sell for a lot of money. They're probably one to two hundred dollars. It doesn't matter what condition because uh, that's a low run right there. But you also have this serial number range for the uh, I believe these are the DC, the three three point two million and one to six point four million. And then this one right here is six point four million and one to nine point six million. So there's that there 6.4 million and another 500,000 on top of that for this particular serial number run and that is it so you you're off to a great start if you find a 2013b star note that begins with the letter zero okay that that's that's great news because it's going to give you a really good shot at having a duplicate star note and oftentimes they are so that's how you find out how many were made, what the actual serial number run is, because like like it says, I mean, you know, it's not going to show all of it. That's for sure. So you just have to be very careful with, you know, the actual, um, the, the, the run, I guess. Uh, actually, that this is this is G. That that that's uh, Chicago. So never mind this. It, it's all right here. This, the B. You have a B dash one, B dash one point one. Um, and, uh, the difference is the 1.1 is the Fort Worth. All right. Anything with a decimal here is a Fort Worth. Okay. Fort Worth here. Um, so you see to kick it off the Washington DC, uh, run to kick it off is between serial number one and 250,000. But when you go to the Fort Worth, it goes from one to 3.2 million. So obviously for the Washington DC run, the first 250,000 are duplicates. However, once you get beyond 250,000, 250,001, all the way up to 3.2 million, those aren't dupes. So it's always important that you type it in into the website to determine if you have a, um, a duplicate star. And it'll let you know. Once that little pop-up comes up, after you type in the star note and you hit enter and, you know, say pick which one, either DC or Fort Worth, then you know you have that.
Okay, so that's important. Make sure you know that. So that's how you kind of find out how to do this. Um, there's really not else that you do need to know. If you're looking to like jump in head first and then go run with this so that way you can make some really good extra money, um, start out with 500 bucks. If you have $500 that you could constantly, re constantly recycle, that's not going to hamper like your everyday needs, do it. Yeah. But if you're going to be taking food off the table so you can get your jollies off to try and find one note, yeah, don't don't play it like that. Um, you know, just uh, just do it when you have the extra amount of money available. And all you really need is a few hundred bucks, five hundred dollars, you know, um, because it's money that you always have. You'll constantly recycle it as you continue to find cool stuff out of your note bundles that you get from the bank. And that's how you do it. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this one, just to kind of rehash it, um, to tell you guys about some methods to uh, to find these, uh, what it all means in a nutshell. Um, they're still worth a lot of money, even though me personally, I haven't been actively pursuing these, uh, let alone searching through them. Uh, but, you know, they, you know, it's your guys' opportunity to go out there and sell these. And if you were going to sell these, I would say put it up for a dollar and then let it ride with the auction it's gonna bid up naturally nobody's gonna let that stay at a dollar they are gonna bid it up to 20 to 50 bucks depending on what you get sometimes they even higher too if you have a, a a dc run which is very rare you're gonna get even more money if the note is crispy uncirculated and uh but you guys are good to go so have fun with it enjoy the hunt make some money in the process Keep in mind, man, uh, there is about a good dozen or so that sell every day on eBay. So you might as well take advantage of that. There is a pretty big market on these, and there is a few collectors that are looking to buy up a lot of these. So that way they're ready to to put together matches when, when it's appropriate. But there you go. That's going to do it. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silver Round. Go out there, do some hunting, and I uh, wish you guys best of luck. All right. I'll see you guys next time. So long.